Hello students, in the previous lesson of binary logic, we learnt about the number systems and the conversion of number systems, numbers from one system to another. In this particular session, we will be learning about the character coding system and we will identify the logic gates, we will learn about the different types of logic gates. Now we will talk about the character coding system. These are the three basic character coding systems that we use. The first one is ASCII, second one is ISCII and the third one is Unicode. So we will talk about these one by one. ASCII is American Standard Code Information. So ASCII value for A to Z, ASCII in ASCII uh, number system, you know, it is a standard number system that uh, understands uh, a particular character set and it makes, uses the combination of these characters to form a number. So if we talk about the conversion from the basic alphabets, basic characters to the ASCII uh, numbers, it has a code, it has a particular code for every character. So for small digit A, it is 97, the A to Z letters start from 97 and ends to 122 because we have 26 letters. Before that, we have already covered the capital letters, A, capital A starts from 65. So the every character, every letter, every number digit that we have in our keyboard, in our number system, that will be having a unique ASCII value. and this code would be used by the computer system to understand what it means. So when we write A, you know, the small letter A in our program as a value of any particular variable, the computer understands it as 97. Okay, so 97 is given as the input and this is the letter and suppose we have to talk about the fourth letter from here, it would be D, so it would be 100. So that is how the system understands. It takes the code value if it is in the ASCII format, from the every character that we have entered, it would ha be having a unique ASCII code for it and it would be using the same. So next is ISCII. ISCII is an Indian script code for information interchange. This coding scheme is used for Indian script and its symbols and it is possible to define a syllable boundary for Indian script word. ASCII is an American standard code for information interchange and ISCI is Indian script code. Indian script code was, was uh, created by ISO and it covers the Indian languages and Indian symbols also. But then we have the Unicode number system, Unicode, uh, you know, character set. It was developed to represent characters from a wide range of languages and it can thus represent characters from English, French, Greek, Korean, etc. All these languages, it takes the ASCII codes and it adds other codes also, it, you know, it keeps on adding different codes and it goes on to, you know, uses the numbers after 122 also and after 500, 700 also to, you know, um, can uh, have a different unique particular code for the other characters and other uh, symbols that are used in all these different languages. So Unicode is commonly used by all the countries, all the systems, that is why it is called Unicode and these are the common codes for everybody. Everybody can use it, use it and the numbers keeps on growing. Now we will talk about the logic gates. As we have seen that there are different calculations required again in different types of number systems we will see how you know what is the output when we are multiplying these digits by different digits or by same digits if uh, these are specially used in the binary uh, number system only we will see that when as we i have just told you when we multiply one by one so what is the output when we, uh, you know, add 1 and 0, what will be the output? So output would depend on the type of gate that we are using. What are the gates? First of all, gates are the different uh, calculation methods. Those are used in the digital circuits. Those are assembled in a system. So these gates would let us know what would be the output of a particular operation. So basic logic gates are AND, OR, NOT, NAND, NOR, XOR and XNOR. So these are the basic types of gate. These three AND, OR, NOT are the basic operations. 
and NAND and NOR, XOR and XNOR are the combination of operations or the complementary or supplementary of the operations. So first of all we will learn about the basic operations those are AND, OR and NOR. So AND first of all what is AND as the name specifies AND is first and second. So for example we take input, input the variables that we have used here would be A and B. We will talk about the different values of A and B and the output here we will be using as C. So C would be A and B and is represented as a dot in uh, you know this logic gates and it means multiplication. If we talk in simple terms it would mean multiplication. So you will have to get the output as a multiplication of these numbers. So 0 into 0, when 0 is multiplied by 0, what do you get? You get 0. When 1 is multiplied by 0, you get 0. When 0 is multiplied by 1, you get 0 again. But when 1 is multiplied by 1, you get 1. So in the AND gate, output would be 1 only if A and B is 1. Both A and B are 1 then you will be getting the output as 1. So you can remember it on tips that in AND gate it is simple and that is why the name is kept to be AND that if A and B both now this AND is the simple word AND that we use in our English language and the name which is AND this comes to be 1 the output comes to be 1 when both A and B are 1. So this is the simple calculation for the AND gate and how do you achieve it? You get it by multiplying the A and B. Then we have OR gate. Now OR gate as the name specifies, the OR gate produ produces an output of logic 1 if at least one of the input is logic 1. So either A or B is 1. So OR as the name specifies either A or B if it is 1 then the output would be 1. So how do you achieve it? You achieve it by adding the two values. If you add 0 plus 0 it would be 0. If you add 0 plus 1 it would be 1. If you add 1 plus 0 it would be 1 again and if you add 1 plus 1. Now as I was telling you that what happens in binary is when you add is when you add 1 and 1 it, it is 1 in OR. Mind it that in OR only we are doing 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. We will see what happens in the other gates. But because it is OR gate and we have already learned that either A or B is 1. If any of these two is 1 then the output would be 1. So when it comes to uh, you know a situation where both of them are 1 the output would be 1 only. That is why this is OR gate. The next we have NOT gate, NOT operation is what? It is simple, if the input is 0, output is NOT 0, if it is NOT 0 what would it be? It would be 1 because there are only 2 digits in the binary number system. If the input is 1, the output would be 0, it would be NOT 1. So how do you remember it? NOT is NOT the input. If the input is 0, output is NOT 0, if it is NOT 0, it is 1. If the input is 1, the output would be not 1, it would be, it would be 0. So simply the complement, you can understand that the not operation, the not gate is just the complement of the input. If it is 0, it would be 1, if it is 1, it would be 0. Then we have the nor operation. What does nor mean? Now nor, as you can see, the name is n or. Nor is a combination of not or. So the output would be completely opposite of what we got in the OR operation. Agar OR mein output 1 tha, to NOR mein 0 hoga. Agar OR mein output 0 tha, to NOR mein 1 hoga. Simply the opposite, not OR. So what was the OR operation? Either A or B, if it is 1, the output would be 1. So in the NOR operation, what would be the completely opposite of uh, OR? That if none of the A or B is 1, then only the output would be 1. If any of the input becomes 1, then output would be 0. 
स्पेशली यहाँ पे ध्यान दीजिए कि और ऑपरेशन जो था ये नॉर उसका कम्प्लीटली उल्टा है और ऑपरेशन में हमने देखा था कि कोई भी एक और या तो ए और बी इफ एनी ऑफ देम इज वन तो आउटपुट जो है हमारा वो वन हो जाएगा लेकिन नॉर ऑपरेशन में ना तो ए वन हो ना तो बी वन हो तो हमारा आउटपुट वन होगा सो इवन इफ एनी वन ऑफ द वैल्यू इज वन द आउटपुट वुड बी जीरो दोनों हो जाती हैं वन तो भी जीरो ही होगा लेकिन कोई एक भी हो जाती है तो जीरो होगा अगर दोनों इनपुट वैल्यू जीरो होंगे तब ही सिर्फ उसी केस में आउटपुट जो है वो वन होगा सो नीदर ए नॉर बी शुड बी वन इफ द आउटपुट हैज टू बी वन दैट इज द नॉर ऑपरेशन इट इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ द और ऑपरेशन देन वी हैव नैंड ऑपरेशन नैंड में भी देखिए दिस इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ नॉट एंड एंड एज द नेम इज नैंड इट इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ नॉट एंड एंड सो नॉट एंड जिसमें एंड नहीं होगा एंड में हमने क्या देखा था कि अगर ए एंड बी दोनों वन होंगे तो ही जो आउटपुट है हमारा वो वन होगा नैंड में क्या होगा अगर ए एंड बी दोनों वन होंगे तब हमारा आउटपुट वन नहीं होना चाहिए बाकी केसेस में होगा इट इज सिंपल इट इज जस्ट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री ऑफ एंड ऑपरेशन वेन यू यूज एन इन द स्टार्टिंग सो दीज गेट्स एज आई टोल्ड यू दी एंड और एंड नॉट दीज आर दी बेसिक ऑपरेशन एंड दी अदर गेट्स आर फॉर्म्ड बाई दी कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज ऑपरेशन सो यहाँ पे हम क्या देख रहे हैं कि नॉट का कॉम्बिनेशन कर दिया है एंड के साथ नॉट एंड अगर एंड नहीं होगा तो हमारा आउटपुट वन आएगा ये ध्यान रखिए कि वट एवर द नेम इज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द आउटपुट टू बी वन हमें आउटपुट वन के बारे में बता रहा है जो हमारा नाम है वो ये बता रहा है कि आउटपुट किस केस में वन होगा सिंपली एंड के नाम से हमें क्या पता लगा कि आउटपुट कब वन होगा जब एंड होगा ए और बी दोनों अगर वन होंगे तो आउटपुट वन होगा अगर आप ये ध्यान रखें कि नाम से हम आउटपुट के वन होने की बात कर रहे हैं आउटपुट निकालने की नहीं आउटपुट के वन होने की बात कर रहे हैं तो इट वुड बी वेरी वेरी इजी टू लर्न और में आउटपुट कब वन होगा जब या तो ए या तो बी ए और बी वन होगा तो आउटपुट वन होगा कोई भी एक होना चाहिए दोनों हो तो भी चलेगा नॉर में क्या होगा कि ना तो ए ना तो बी और का उल्टा है अगर नहीं होगा तो ही जो आउटपुट है वो हमारा वन होगा और अब नैंड ऑपरेशन में हमने क्या देखा कि ए और बी जब दोनों एंड में वन नहीं होंगे तो ही उस केस में हमारा आउटपुट वन होगा अगर दोनों वन हो जाते हैं तो आउटपुट वन नहीं होगा तो वेन ए इज जीरो एंड बी इज जीरो आउटपुट इज वन वेन ए इज जीरो बी इज वन आउटपुट इज वन बिकॉज दोनों तो वन नहीं है एक ही वन है थर्ड केस में क्या हुआ ए वन हो गया बी जीरो हो गया अभी भी दोनों वन नहीं है इसीलिए आउटपुट हमारा वन ही है जब ए और बी दोनों वन हो गए लास्ट केस में और ये हमारा नैंड ऑपरेशन है दोनों वन नहीं होने चाहिए तो इसमें हमारा आउटपुट जो है वो जीरो आ जाएगा सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैलकुलेट दिस इज हाउ वी एड दिस इज हाउ वी मल्टीप्लाई नंबर यूजिंग दी गेट ऑपरेशन इन दी नंबर सिस्टम सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दी बाइनरी लॉजिक आई होप यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट थैंक यू सो मच